Hello, I am Lux. And this is Ember. And this is our thoughts on Sailor Moon Crystal, episodes 13 and 14. Okay, these episodes were awesome, and I got to watch one of them in 1080p. <laughs> Mainly because my internet service provider was being a, and I couldn't watch it on Hulu. So I had to go around, and eventually I ended up on Crunchyroll, and I watched it on there. And it was glorious. <laughs> Very shiny. Very. And the feels. Quite. Quite the feels. And I thought we would have a season break at this point, but no, we're going straight into the next arc. <laughs> I know, I was like, oh, okay, so yeah, we defeated Queen Metallia with plenty of time, so now we're going to get everyone back to normal and show them back in their normal lives, and oh my god, there's Chibiusa. <laughs> <laughs> she came out of nowhere and... I don't remember them being a gun. <laughs> there was a gun. Both manga and anime. Yep, and then there's me, who watched the original anime and it wasn't there. Well, I meant the original American version of the anime. <laughs> I remember seeing it. No, they edited that out, because remember, gun's bad. Yeah, but it no, it just did a little flag thing. It said bang, hmm. and Usagi totally freaked out. Oh well, moving on. Back in time! Okay. <laughs> yes, there were plenty of feels in episode 13. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so everyone's failing, everyone's falling. Oh no, we're both dead. Wait, but I'm alive? And you're alive? And the Sailor Scouts are going, She's alive! We know she's alive! Because she gave us happy feels and we can hear her laugh! Oh my god! So we'll give her all our power so that she can win because we're not strong enough by ourselves, so we'll create the opportunity for her to win because we don't think we can win. But, okay, if we needed the frickin' holy sword, why didn't you take the holy sword with you when you left? Also, if praying at that altar was the answer, couldn't we have, like, done that earlier? And why didn't you use that during the whole first Moon Kingdom thing? Um, probably did, and probably also died doing it. You know, because, like, Usagi kind of, sort of, died-ish. Mm -hmm. It's a little vague. Also, instead of a house cat to protect your daughter? Couldn't you have had, I don't know, a larger cat maybe, or given that cat the power to transform into a larger cat with battle armor? I mean... <laughs> um, yeah. And if you've already assigned your daughter four human warrior guardians, why did you also assign a cat to her? I don't know. So, yeah. And also, okay, praying to the tower. So Luna is there praying, looking awesome. Artemis, what the freak are you doing? You're just standing there watching. Do you not care about Minoko enough to go up there and try to sync up with her? <laughs> or even just try to share your power with Sailor Moon? Or even just pray that Luna's prayers will be enough? <laughs> You're standing there watching. Okay, I know in the Sailor Moon universe, males are usually mostly useless, but come on! <laughs> I also love the reaction of, you got kind of scary there. <laughs> it didn't say scary, it said sacred. Ah, well, I, mine's funnier. <laughs> Yours is funnier, but I'm like, you looked very sacred. That's another way of saying your human form is damn sexy, girl. <laughs> I hope you're into furries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I apologize to any furries. <laughs> so yeah, the episodes were very well done. Some animation errors, like for a moment the Silver Millennium Crystal is there when it should be, and the next it's not there when it should be. And then it's gone, and then it's back, and we can understand why it's gone in the next shot, but why did it disappear earlier? <laughs> and Let's not forget how the legendary silver crystal incredibly constantly changes size, because it should not have fit inside that brooch. It was much larger. We could see clearly when it was in the moon, elongated moonstick that it was very large, large enough to cup it with two hands. Yet suddenly, it's still in the same shape, but it shrunk down small enough to fit inside the brooch. It's a magical silver crystal? <laughs> yes, but also, why put it in the brooch? If when you do moon healing escalation, we're going to put it back on the stick. Also, very OP, Sailor Moon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just heal the entire world at once. That won't cause any problems in the future. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Bill does fix everything. And can we explain how the Sailor Scouts got from the frickin' North Pole back to town? I'm pretty sure that was a healing, not a teleportation. Magic. I love how all those birds were conveniently lined up right there and they showed us them first and we, were, and we both giggled. <laughs> like, yeah, that's funny. And then, oh, that's why. Because <laughs> it's just like, those are surprisingly convenient birds. Oh, look. <laughs> And we have it fairly clear that at the end of episode 14, Sailor Moon is the only one who still has powers. And that's reiterated with the preview we see of episode 15, because we see new henshin sticks. Though I did notice when she did the new transformation, when she said, I am Queen Sailor Moon, I'm like, why didn't she get like the suit upgrades I've seen in the manga and stuff? I know, I'm like, I was ex Expecting more of a change for the outfit. Yeah, like the colors around the edge of the skirt or what starts to look like wings on her costume and stuff like that. Yeah, well I think some of those are later in the series, like in S. And right now, um, with Jibiusa showing up next episode, I think we'd be in R. And that's another question. I thought this was going to be a short series, and from what I understand, season 2 is supposed to have 26 episodes, so... Are we getting another 26 episodes after this point, or it will be a total of 26 episodes? Because I'm really confused, because I thought it, the, the initial Sailor Moon Crystal was only covering the original arc, so should have ended with episode 14, and I know that they did later decide that, oh, wow, this is popular. No freaking duh. And we were going to get more episodes. But it seems kind of funny that we have the preview for episode 15 already. I mean, I know Japan doesn't do off-seasons, but I thought they needed more production time. Mm-hmm. Because from the stuff I was initially reading, though, I was mostly skimming it, we are supposed to get a full season two, which, from what I understand, is another 26 episodes after this. So do they decide and rewrite um, episode 14? I should say 13 and 14. I created 14 to smooth things over to transition into the next arc. Could be possible because if they had pressed the attacks a little bit harder, they could have finished up at episode 13. Well, any final thoughts? Um, that I'm wondering if I'm still going to hate Chibiusa as much as I did the first time around. <laughs> uh, considering how fast the pace is, I don't know. This will be my first time watching the whole thing in this way because I caught the original arc version of this way back when, and that was after a entire season, as it were, break going through the Dark Tree Saga, because that was filler. Yeah, that entire arc was filler with the Doom Tree, which I did kind of enjoy. I, yeah, I liked it. That whole brother-sister, not really brother-sister, magical flute, the two falling in love with vice versa, one with mm -hmm. and one with the other. Yeah. And, God, I forgot that flute music. I tried to learn what the notes were at one time to try and play it on my block flute. Yes, yes, I'm a ridiculous fangirl. And no, I can't really play the flute. It's a cheat flute with a cheat sheet. <laughs> uh, and if you hear stuff in the background, that would be her cat. You may have heard us mention her before. Yes, Kitten has decided it should be playtime right now, so... Well, my final thoughts is I can't really wait for the next stuff to come up, but I kind of wanted a break. <laughs> I know. I was, I was expecting, you know, more of a climax and finale with hints that we could still go further. You know, kind of how, like, most harem series, I know this isn't a harem series, kind of reset at the end where, oh gee, everything's changed, but yet at the same time, nothing's changed. So we could go either way. Mm-hmm. I was expecting it, you know, to them to have that nice scene at the end of the park, and then it would fade to black and we'd get credits and it says, wait for next season or something like that. Something that gave us a little bit of a break, like a month time or something, and then suddenly, nope, boom, right into next arc. Okay, I knew the pace was quick on this, but oh my god. <laughs> I know. So hopefully Chibiusha won't have as much time to be annoying because I still found her a bit annoying in the manga because she acts extremely childish for her age. That and doesn't she kind of have a weird obsession with her father? It's called an Electra Complex. <laughs> well, we'll leave you on that note. <laughs> Thank you for listening. This has been our thoughts on Sailor Moon Crystal, episodes 13 and 14. Want to keep track of what Lux is up to? You can find him on DeviantArt and Tumblr. 
want to keep track of our YouTube channels, you can find a link for us on Tumblr. Really like Lux's art and would like to have some of your own? He is currently accepting commissions. Also, if you really like us, please leave a comment, friendly comment. If you really, really like us, please subscribe. All links are in the description.